everyone, Tammy here. Welcome to my channel. Uh, forgive my voice. I am <clears throat> I am still getting over a nasty bug. Um, it was not the big C, but it, it felt a lot like it. But anyway, uh, I've got four of my Blythe dolls here with me today. Uh, you might recognize these two. The, and Actually, if you watch my channel at all, um, you might recognize the other two gals too. But uh, we've got Country Summer, um, Anna Sui. Uh, a doll I call Sorry. She is my first customized doll. She has quite a history with me. And um, and then a doll I call Dixie. She's also a customized doll. In fact, actually I think Dixie was my first customized and I think uh, Sorry was maybe my second one. Anyway, er early customized dolls that I purchased. Um, and they need their clothes changed. Obviously, Anna here, already she still has her Halloween outfit on. Um, this doll has a really cute dress I made a while ago, and I really like it on her. Um, she has a Leica body, and uh, this particular dress is a little bit on the small side in the bust, uh, but it fits her just really, really, really well. I think she looks adorable in it, but she's had it on for quite some time. In fact, um, stay tuned. I need to fix her eyes. She's got, <laughs> if you can hear that. She's got an eyeball rolling around in there, and now that I've been customizing more, I feel comfortable in um, in maybe switching out some eye chips. Her eye chips, they look really pretty, but they are basically just a piece of paper with a clear uh, chip over it. They're not the, the resin kind, and I would like to update her or upgrade her chips a little bit, at least some of them, even though, I mean, they are really pretty. So anyway, so that's her. And then, um, yeah, so Dixie's wearing an outfit. She's had this on for a while. Uh, I did a collaboration where I turned a couple of dolls into um, little schoolgirls. So this is also an outfit I made, um, this little dress and, and a little bow in her hair. Also looks super cute, but honestly, she's been wearing this for a while and I stole her shoes a while back <laughs> for something. Um, and she's got this little cute little Hello Kitty uh, book bag and Country Summer here she's just wearing this is the stock that she came in I can't remember why I put her in this or you know there was a reason I'm sure other than it's just cute on her but anywho uh, I have been really getting into the Maury style girl dolls um, they're that fashion and I have quite a few uh, pull up and Blythe dolls both that either were already Maury girls like Blue Rabbit. I have my, uh, that's a stock doll. Like these are stock dolls, by the way, if you're not familiar, these are stock dolls. These are customized dolls. Um, this is a customized hybrid stock possible face plate, but everything else was, um, switched out. This is a fakey, uh, a customized doll. Anyway, so I've been getting into the Mori Girls, and I have changed some of my Blythe dolls into Mori Girl fashions, and really like the way it's looking in my in my curio. I also, like I said, have a few pull-up dolls that already come with a Mori style. Um, oh, and I have some a couple of uh, what do they call the gorgeous dolls that they are like they look like little Mori girls too, and so I'm going to switch these gals out into some Mori fashions. Um, I, I'm going to do that in a separate video, but in this video, I wanted to show you the dolls and then, um, show you some outfits and, and maybe, maybe you can help me figure out who should wear what. Okay. So, all right. So let's, let me, I will part the ways here and I'll show, show you some, uh, doll outfits I've put together with stuff that's already in my really way too big Blythe doll clothing collection. Nobody warns you when you start collecting Blythe dolls that along with the dolls, <laughs> you're going to start collecting stuff for the dolls like clothing. All right. So, um, Mori girl fashion, if you're not familiar with it, it's a Japanese fashion and it's, it's, um, sort of like a, um, I guess it's a, to me, it's sort of a boho ish look with a very earthy vibe it tends to have a lot of layers so i i'm going to make sure that there are layers in the outfits and this is a really cute uh sweater i purchased from a 
vendor out of uh, the Ukraine and she hand knit this and it's so cute and typically the Mori girl to me if I had to define it I would say it's sort of um, boho boho woodlands <laughs> yeah it's a little it's a, a young girl um, not a child necessarily but a, a young adult doll <laughs> even it's a young girl who likes to you know dress naturally she has a lot of layers um, a lot of um, pretty fabrics flowy that kind of thing uh, uh, definitely a nod to uh, to nature and so this with the little mushrooms I thought was a good starting point and then I had this really cute little bunny dress can you, uh, can you see the bunny face on there all right so there's a little bunny and it's got these little strawberries there's a little bunny over there and I think I got this from Mimi Gijo I'm not sure do I there's no tag but I, I'm fairly sure I got this from Mimi Gijo on um, Etsy and so I thought this, along with this sweater, would be a very cute outfit. All right, and then um, I have some red shoes uh, I got from uh, Jazz. She is a sweet person, a viewer, and she sent me some uh, dolly goodies recently. And I thought these cute little uh, shoes, these little red shoes, would look really adorable with that. And definitely have the Mori vibe. Now, who is going to wear this? <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of thinking Country Summer, who I call Amber, but this is Country Summer. She might look really cute in it. And this doll here, uh, Sari, might look cute in it because also it might fit her really well because this is a little bit on the small side up here. So the, the this gal's a little bit bustier. It would probably not fit her as well. So um so yeah so that's a possibility all right so there's one outfit another outfit um we'll start with the the dress i also bought this dress actually this is one of the dresses i bought when i very first got back into doll collecting and i wasn't sure the direction i was going and i was getting um, really interested in the pull-up dolls and i do like the pull-ups but then I realized after getting a few that they were a bit more delicate than the Blythe dolls. So if you wanted to do stuff with them, you know, there's the possibility of breaking them. <laughs> so this I actually bought for a pull-up doll. And it, it fits the pull-up body very well. But it also fits um, Blythe dolls. It's just kind of on the long side. Which is fine with Maury. That's, that's kind of a look. They sometimes tend to have, um, you know, long flowy dresses and stuff. So, so there's the dress, and then I've got these little boots that I thought were a pretty decent match, these little pink boots. Okay, so when you're tromping around out in the, the forest, you want to have, you know, some boots sometimes. And then I have a sweater that I actually, I crocheted this sweater, and at first I wasn't really sure, but see, this got this sort of like rusty color here, so I think it'll look cute with the you know, it's kind of an odd combination of colors, but I think it'll work um, okay. And so I'm not sure who this is going to go on. Um, I Again, this gal might look really cute in it. It's kind of got some good coloring for her. Um, let me see about Anna Sui. Oh, that's pretty too. She's gorgeous. She has this really cool uh, purple hair. And... She actually has purple eye chips. I've got the side gray ones now. But let me see. Ooh, purple ones. There we go. Woo! She's got purple eye chips. Oh my goodness. So I actually finished the video and I was in the middle of editing it. And I realized that my, uh, I guess the battery on my iPhone, which is what I use to film, um, just died. <laughs> so half of my video was gone. So I'm going to try to re, re, uh, rewind here a little bit. I ended up, uh, before all that happened, showing this outfit. And like I said, I wasn't sure who is going to wear this. Um, it might be this gal. Uh, I don't know for sure. But let me know in the comments below who do you think it should be. Um, you will notice that I have one doll is not here. 
Anasui because she is the first doll I am going to dress in one of these Moy Girl outfits and I had started it already uh, filming her new outfit and um, uh, well, I had to take it off of her <laughs> so I could rewind and do this. All right, so she's going to be the first one in this um, Moy Girl series who is going to get a new outfit. Um, and in fact, let me show you uh, what I think I'm going to put her in. <clears throat> this is a cute little gray sweater. It is hand knit and this is actually mohair. So it's very soft and it's really cute. And I happen to have this other dress. This is a dress I bought a long time ago when I first started collecting these dolls. Um, I hadn't started sewing for them yet. You can see it's a very basic uh, pattern. However, the person who made it jazzed it up with some really pretty lace. And that is definitely a Mori Girl um, fashion uh, style is, is lace and layers like lace down here. Um, so this with this looks really nice. And I happen to have some of these, some of these gray Ugg boots. I have a bunch of these little Ugg boots. A lot of the AliExpress vendors sell them and, uh, they're a little bit loose on the, um, traditional style dolls. Uh, but on the larger the larger A zone style and um, also these gals the Leica doll size they they fit a little bit better. If you have trouble though, you can always just add some socks and they stay on a little bit better. So yes, yeah, so here is another outfit, four outfits there. I've got three of the four, and this one I'm thinking is going to go on this gal right here. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to put her in this one. Um, because of her coloring. She's one of the dolls that is um, considered a fantasy hair doll because her hair is not a natural color. It's it's purple. <laughs> it's a dark purple. It almost looks black sometimes, but it's definitely got a purple hue to it. And so these gals, they just don't really have, I mean, it looks okay on them, but I think it because of the coloring of Anna Sui, I think it's going to look better on her because this is this little outfit has just got all neutral colors, just white and um, white and gray. So that's outfit number three. And outfit number four, again, starts with <clears throat> another one of these really cute little sweaters. And again, it's got um, little mushrooms on here. This one has two buttons, and it, she does have little buttonholes if I want to button them up. So that is another outfit. And then I have a dress that also I think will look good with it. It's got the, the green, it picks up the green coloring. There you can see. This is a dress I actually got. Um, I don't know who made it. And I really like the fabric and the fact that it's got sort of a uh, fall feel to it. Um, I got this dress as part of a package when I purchased a customized doll and I don't even think I have that custom doll anymore. I sold her. Um, I don't remember why I sold. I, I know why. That's right. I was going to re, I was going to re-customize her and then I found out her plate, her scalp, I was going to change her hair out and her scalp plate thing was glued and short of uh, soaking it and going through all kinds of uh, machinations, uh, there was no place, no way to get that scalp off. So I so I resold her. <laughs> so anyway, um, so yeah, so I'm thinking this dress here with this sweater. And as far as shoes go, I have these little light brown shoes. Also, Yaz uh, sent me these, this, uh, these in part of the package that she sent. So I think this outfit here would look really cute. And yeah, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking the gray, the gray and white outfit for Anasui. This one might be for, sorry, because like I said, she's got the smaller uh, bust up here. And then I have the other two. I'm not sure. I don't know which of these two are going to go with this. Um, and I'm not even 100% sure I'm going to go with what I'm saying. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Um, who do you think should wear which outfit? 
Um, like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do Anna Sui in this one, but I've got these three other ones. I need to figure out which of these three dolls is going to wear them. And then I'm going to film a separate uh, dolly dress up video for each one of these dolls. So there's going to be four Mori Girl dolly dress up videos coming your way, uh, starting with Anna Sui. She's, she's uh, waiting in the wings here. <laughs> I got her undressed and she's waiting in the wings. Um, and in a hack, like I said, I'd already started filming it. So, you know, you'll see her in her previous outfit before I change her out. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so her I figured out, but the other three I'm kind of on the fence about. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your, also your thoughts about Mori Girl. Do you have any Mori Girl um, style dolls or fashion for your dolls? And I guess that's it. Thank you for stopping by. Please give this a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so and hit that bell icon. That way you get notifications, especially that'll help out with this little series that I'm doing because then you'll get notifications when those videos are posted. Have a wonderful Dolly Day. Bye-bye.